Hey, welcome to ADHD Engineering. Glad you're here. Today I'm super excited to announce that we're going to be launching a new vlog series where we're going to be fixing the Marble Machine X CAD design. Stay tuned. Now, as you may know, I had the privilege of leading the Marble Machine X CAD team uh, for the past few months. We have taken the model of the Marble Machine X and we have tamed it. There was a lot of old information in that model which was bad, there were a lot of redesigns that never made it into the model, and there were a lot of parts that Martin had made freehand in the studio and that never made it into CAD. And what we've done is we have captured all of those things and right now we're in the process of bringing them together to make a final model that has been simplified so that it can run in Fusion 360. Now I considered doing a vlog of phase one, but there we were dealing with having a lot of information that was missing and as it turns out, frustration and pain just really aren't that photogenic. And how do I show you information I don't have? So phase two of the Marble Machine X project, as I've defined it with Martin, is a redesign of the machine for a couple of different reasons. The first of which is due to the fact that the Marble Machine was the product of constant innovation and redesign over the course of three years. And there's a lot of design decisions that Martin made earlier that are kind of baked into a lot of components on the machine. Uh, for example, he no longer wants to have two parts that hold onto each other just by friction. He wants a physical interlocking device. But those kind of connections are everywhere on the machine. And so as we go through the machine again with a fresh look, we're going to be taking some of these new um, more refined design concepts and applying them evenly all the way across the machine. The second thing that we're doing is called DFM or design for manufacturing and as we're going through and redesigning the machine we're gonna have the opportunity to take each part look at it say okay what is the right material this part should be made from what's the right manufacturing process that we should be using to make this part and how can we make this part as durable and reliable and repeatable and as manufacturable as possible. This is how you get consistent, precise, economical, and reliable parts for the Marble Machine X. But there's still one kind of big problem, which is the fact that Martin realized a long time ago that Fusion 360 has a hard time with big assemblies. It's really made for smaller products, small assemblies, for brainstorming, uh, and for a kind of product design kind of workflow where you're working from the bottom up creating a project out of nothing. So phase two, by definition, is going to be done in different software. One that is robust enough to handle the huge number of parts that we're going to need for the Marble Machine, but also one where we have top-down control, where we can have parametric sketches that outline the entire machine where each component is supposed to be so that we can design these parts in context and in place and make sure that they all work perfectly with each other. Now we haven't decided whether that's going to be SolidWorks or Inventor or NX and to be honest it might come down to whoever's willing to sponsor this project. But whatever the platform we choose the vlog series is going to end up being a really deep dive into the use of that software platform for the creation of a very cool and insanely complex machine. At the end of this journey, we'll have helped Martin truly finish the Marble Machine X. As he uses the machine in his studio while recording the new album and he has new ideas for it, we'll be here to absorb them. As things break and need repair, we'll be there with the new optimized replacement parts. And when he's ready for the world tour, we'll have a new Marble Machine ready for him, a touring model, which is ruggedized, reliable, can be shipped easily, and set up in minimal time. That is the ultimate vision for the Marble Machine CAD project. The CAD team and I will be vlogging all of this on this channel here, and it's a new channel, so if this is something you think you'd be interested in, it makes a big deal if you could hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and let us know if this is content that you're interested in seeing. Until then, thank you for watching, and oh dude, hey, have you ever been in a bathroom and it's like looking at the handle? you know, on the exit door and just be like, I do not want to touch that, you know, it just, oh.